Hey, hey, don't do that. Come on, put up glasses on shit. Hey, man. Want some station back out, people? My bad, bro. I love you. Merry Christmas, man. Yes. Oh, What's up? Got Dave Stewie in the building with me. What's up? What's up? What's the good word? You told me, man, you got the glasses and the hat on. Oh, yeah. You miss a cool, you miss a cool <laughs> breeze. Like you out here, you know what I mean? Like man. you doing it? How you been? No Freddie Calhoun and me. Uh, uh, you said you who? No Freddie Calhoun. No Freddie uh, Calhoun. That's uh, cool breeze. Oh, oh okay, okay. I can't wait to meet him. Yeah, man. man. I can't wait to meet him. He dead? No, I don't think so. Uh, 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 listen to the corner and watch for the hook. <laughs> okay. That dude. Okay. okay. Yeah. Freddie yeah. Calhoun, coolest yep. guy at the camp. Yeah. Those are my tools. Got your whole time shut. Mm -hmm. Shout out to the TI guy too. I don't know what's going on, man, but I can't see a screen. It's all good though. You know what I'm saying? Right. Talk to the people, man. Let them know anything that we are. Uh, you know, it's, it's been a minute. They've been asking, they've been checking, and now they see. So, uh, man, let them know. Yo, they they still be dealing with that life shit, man. I, uh, I'm back on the scene with my music. Mm -hmm. uh, I ain't never stopped doing it. It's just, you know, you, you get put in, in different situations. And it, when it ain't your time, it ain't your time, man. Like, you know, I just had to wait. I had to wait, wait, my, make sure my. Uh, my finances were straight, my, my family, my son was straight. So I wanted to make sure I was good, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? So I, I was I was put in a position where I can I can get back in the studio and, and do some work. Right. And, and while I was working, I, I found a song. You know, I, I was going through a situation, and I, I put that into a song, you know what I'm saying? And then I was able to get back in the studio and, and, and put it together. And that's my single. I'm, I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming for him, man. Come on. I'm coming for him. Now, what was, that, uh, what, what was that time off like for you? Time off, it was good. I, I was able to uh, to develop as a man, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And, uh, work on myself, um, work on being a, a, a good dad, uh, you know, the family man. I think that's where it started. Because without that, I, I can't I can't do what I do. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I was able to do that, and then I can get in the studio. I can I can I can sit by myself and have a couple of drinks and, and write and but uh, put uh, light some incense and, and write. You know what I'm saying? To create and get into my zone and do that. Um, that's what that's what I started. You know, the, my inspiration came from my little boy. Man. And, and, you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta. You gotta wait. You gotta wait your turn. Right. You gotta wait your turn, man. You know what I mean? You gotta make them wait as you make it. Yeah, they, 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 they've been pissing me off. They made me up on the inbox and all that. Talking about yo, they've been talking to me, but I, I'm listening. I'm listening. You know, uh, there's a lot of cats doing their thing. On the R&B scene and all that, and I'm, I'm just I'm, I'm blessed to still be one of the names. Just to still have to still be out here. You know what I mean? People still, you know, they're still asking about me. I think, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, now with this uh, this next wave of music, with this next, you know, this full release of music, what do you uh, what do you want to give to the people? You know, what do you expect that? Uh, I mean, I don't really want to say what you what would you expect, but you know what. What do you feel? You know the people are uh, missing. You know or they, have been missing. They don't. They have no idea. It's like a lot. A lot of my old friends. I don't. I don't have anymore. A lot of the family members I don't talk to anymore. So it's like with that absence as fa as being a family man and a, a friend. Like they don't. Have, they have no idea what I've been going through. So this is my time to uh, put my story together the way I want to, without having nobody really not necessarily judging me. But just really sitting back, like damn, like he really went through this shit, like you know what right, I mean, right. like that. So it ain't really about what what they gonna what they gonna expect. Like yo, you just gotta just listen. You know what I'm saying? It, mm -hmm. I'm gonna I'm answer all your questions on music, and I think you know with, with the way I think, not the way I'm thinking now. I just wanna I wanna give it to them straight raw. You know, I, I have no you know because when when you write a song, you gotta you gotta it's either an eight bar hook. Or eight bar verse or a uh, sixteen bar verse or whatever the case might. Like, right. like I may I may put together a song like that's just just a straight verse, you know what I'm saying? And, and just go in and have my little things in between. Like you never know. I, like just be, yo. They, they just gotta be surprised. And just I'm coming. Like I'm, I'm coming, man. Certainly. Now that uh, up. now that you've taken that time off and you've been able to get yourself like get the situation straight, do 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 you feel? Uh, uh, a different level of freedom, you know, not so much like feeling like a new artist, but I mean, you know, almost like a, uh, almost like a player getting signed to a new team. Yo, you, you, you know, said, feeling like they got something to prove. Is it, you is said, going on? you said it right. It ain't really nothing to prove because, like, with, with, just like with Trey Songz or uh, 
Joe, or Usher, Donald Jones, some of those other cats, everybody got their own way of doing things. They got their own way of leveling out their their music. Like everybody had their own story. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm just they just have certain ways of covering it up and making it seem like oh, I'm just going I'm, I'm going in. Like I have no you know, whether people they feel like it's wrong or like, you shouldn't have said that. So right. Right. <laughs> but because we like the way we think, like as humans, Talk you know, shit. What, what we think as humans, man, any thought, all of our thoughts are right, even when it's wrong, mm-hmm. man, like, I, that's how I feel, that's just real rap, so like, with my music, it's all about that, <laughs> who cater to it, so who's gonna take to it, Certainly. the right way, like, yeah, you know, I, I, that's what I'm doing now, I think it was more so me catering to the, to the women and how, talking about sex all the time, but like, I went through that life shit, and can't nobody tell me, how my life is. I can only tell it, tell it to the people. Let them know what's gonna happen. Come on. Word. 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 Sure. Now, uh, with the with the new music, what's the uh, what's the plan? What's the what's the floor plan? What the, what man, I'm about to, yo, man. I'm about to shoot this video tomorrow, man. And I feel like it's Christmas, man. <laughs> right now, the way I'm feeling, yes. yo. I can't wait till tomorrow, man. It's gonna be a full shoot, man. We we starting at 10 a.m. and uh, we going to probably like three or four. We gonna we gonna go, man. And knock it out, right. you know. The uh, the first single is called Preach. Mm-hmm. Um, just talking about my struggles, talking about uh, me being homeless, mm-hmm. uh, me losing my son at a couple points, me losing myself, and and getting back. And it's, it's just a reflect a reflection of it's me looking back at where I was, right. opposed to where I'm at. Don't mean I'm, I'm still not in that place where I was before, sure. but I'm talking about it. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I'm not in the best in the best shape. You know what I'm saying? Best people mm-hmm. like, but I can still talk about um, where I was at because people need to hear that. Mm-hmm. Some people can't. Some people can't write and sing. You know, some people can't really can't get on the stage and really write. Sit down and like, yo, I'm, yo, I'm a testament to everybody that that's going through it, man. Got you, got you. Now let me just touch on that. You know what you're saying? Uh, you know, in, in, in your time of uh, not having a home, or, you know, the situation that's going on with your son. Um, how how did any of those learning experiences, how did that shape you or you know move you into being and putting out what what we're getting now? Right. And what we're going uh, I, I, I was able to I was able to keep my job. Right. Uh, I was able to keep <laughs> start right there. No, I was able to keep my job. Yeah, you know, and at, at the end of the day, like my little boy want he wanna go to McDonald's, he mm-hmm. wanna go he wanna go uh he want the Ninja Turtles and all that stuff and like he want the Dairy Queen, the ice cream, and all of that. I'm like, mm-hmm. yo, I got, I gotta be the dad to say yes. Like, yes, I got you. Like, and like he, he be in the back seat tripping. You know what I'm saying? He eat his food and fall asleep. So like that put me in a position. Like, yo, like I have to maintain my gig. Right. And I think that that's that's where it started. At. I was able to do that. And um, did I answer your question? I think did I? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then into 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 bringing it into uh. What you're giving up now. Right. Uh, that, right, right. That, <clears throat> that, that, that allowed me, like, because my son is so free, man. Mm-hmm. Like, he, he loved Michael Jackson. Like, he danced his ass off. Right? So, he ran, I, I ran and put up Instagram, you know, videos in. We've been, we've been enjoying, like, when our shirts off, just on, rocking out with yeah. the guitar, just going crazy, right? So, like, so that, it's not there, man. Like, you know, with, with the marriage and stuff, with the girlfriends and all that, you know, my son was, he's everything to me, man. Mm-hmm. Everything, and that's that's <laughs> that's why I am who I am now. Yep. You know, that's who I live for. That, that's my strength, man. That, is that, is that you know where, you have, uh, where you draw your main inspiration yeah, from? Yeah, that, and, that, and that's he. My son allowed me to do music I mean, because he, yeah. you know, like my man Jay was like, he was saying like, yo, uh, like, yo, man, son and such. He been here before. Like this little kid been here before. My son been here before, mm-hmm. man, mm-hmm. on this earth. But he just he a, he a young dude. He in a different form. It's just like. He want he want daddy to be successful because he need me, man. Mm-hmm. My son need me, man. So like I'm able to put out this type of music and and, that, and that's what changed me. Like people, they, they just they never know what to expect from me now. Uh, so, well, you know, rap. Yeah, I'm just get, I'm, about, I'm about to give it up, man. I'm about to do one thing. I'm about to go in. What's that rap? You know, rap. No, I ain't I, I ain't too far, man. I ain't got too, man. <laughs> I'm not East Side E, I ain't done, I ain't none of them cats, man. Yeah, yeah. Those are my folks, you know? So, okay. yeah. How do you feel about the, uh, what's the 
current state of the, the music and you know, as a whole. What they know, you know, what they push and what's the agenda. Everybody, everybody's saying Arab he lost his way. Okay, mm -hmm. like everybody says that, but I think that it's all a lie because you gotta look at everybody as an individual. Everybody may feel a certain way about a song, but you know what I'm saying. Our R and B is where it always been. It's it's about where you want to take it to. Me, yeah. me. <laughs> I'm about to get. Hey, I'm I'm still I still I still love I still love R and B, but right. I, right. I, I'm in I'm in I'm in, I'm still in the love stage. But like, you know, like what, what what's the name saying? Is is level is levels to the? You know, what, what, what do you say? What do you say? You know, certain levels, man. You got love. You got, you got the hate. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give every, everything to everybody. I'm gonna give it to them. You know what I mean, I love R. I love to say that R. Me, because everybody's their own individual person. Everybody their own, their own mind. They sit down and create these songs, and that's R. B. You know, you can't, you can't judge them. No, can't judge them. All the way. Bills fan. All day. I'm talking about. Listen, I heard. Listen, no. Okay, before you even talk, okay? <laughs> All right. I watch your interviews, man. I watch how you dog the people out of Buffalo. Oh, uh, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Okay? I love my city. I'm not a Bulls oh. fan, but I love my city. Shout out to See, I didn't, want, want, I didn't, want, I didn't want, want you to say that. Why do you got to say that to me, man? Yeah. It's okay. I understand. I mean, I understand. Cool. I'm, I'm about to cry. I'm feeling certain. Like, Shout out to the Browns, man. Here you go, man. The Browns and shit, man. <laughs> I got family in Cleveland. Shout out to my family in Cleveland. Right. What up? What's up, y'all? How you feel? Um, how you feel about the Buffaloes? I mean, so much, uh, you know, so so much talk going on. I didn't even leave the city. Need to be downtown. Need a renovation on the studio, uh, on, on the stadium. Uh, you know, maybe they will go to If we get if we get rid of the Buffalo Bills team, there won't be no more Buffalo. You know what I'm saying? It's still gonna be a Buffalo, but like this is gonna be a a complete ghost town. You know what I'm saying? Let's like, bring the team to the bring the team to the uh. The first Niagara, you know what I'm saying? But make, make, a, make us a dome team. Like, do something like that. Like, this, we're not really in Buffalo, no way. You'll have to be <laughs> You feel me? You'll have to be there. You think that'd be sweet, though? Okay. Yeah. And the Buffalo need to be a dome team. Yeah, but don't get rid of Don't take us out of Buffalo. Don't go to Toronto when it's not really Buffalo. Just because Ralph Wilson died, don't get rid of Buffalo. We Buffalo. Like, what do you mean? Like, no, we need our team where it's supposed to be at. Like, period. Straight up. What do you do? We ain't got in that. That's some juice. Yeah, some juice. Yeah, some juice. Yeah, some nice tea. Merry Christmas, man. <laughs> <laughs> what's, the, what's the move outside of them? Outside of the music? You know, you, uh, you got a wrestling team or something? You know, do you, uh, yeah, I'm a potato section scratch? No, I cook, man. I, I, be, I be cooking. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm trying to enhance as a black man. I'm, yeah. try, I'm trying to, I'm trying to be better at that. And set a standard for for our, our young ones coming up. This generation is so fucked up. You know what I mean? No sense. And then on top of that, I'm I'm a father. I want my son being a part of what's going on now. So I got to take him back. You know what I mean? To how I came up. Right, right, right. Things like that. So that, that's my uh, my mindset. I, I, I cook. I'm a father. Yes. You know, uh, it'd be cool, man. I like to go for long walks in the park. Yeah. Sex in the beaches, yeah. uh, cold beers. I like to chill out and be. I just want to be black. Man. Yeah. So this is a disclaimer. This is not the army. I just want to be black. I just want. I want to be a black man and just do my thing. Come on, straight up. Uh, I, I said, I have to set the set an example for myself. Not necessarily for everybody else. Like you, you know, everybody do what they want to do. Right. I, I'm setting an example for myself and what I want to do. Oh, what about you, man? What's going on with you, man? Oh, man, listen, it's not about me. Yeah, it's not, you know what I be saying in the interview, man? It's not about me. Not about me. I be chilling, though. So, so you, we, can't, we can't make it about you. Just, you know, we don't want to put, you want to turn the tables real quick. Oh, man, I mean, man, bro, it, it, you know what I mean? What's, what's up with you, man? We, we chill, we rock it out. What's up? What's up with you? Bro, I'm cool, man. I'm bro. I'm just trying to facilitate a better situation for, uh, for what's going on with the city. That's it. Make a lot of music. I just, want, I just want the people to know. I don't want this interview to be a dull moment, man. I just want the people to know. Um, like, we got a lot of new people watching. They yes. watching. Mm -hmm. um, some people may know me, but um, just, just expect greatness from me. Not even just on the music side, just as a person. Mm -hmm. I think that, uh, that's, my, that's my main focus. I have to be great as a person. In order for my music to be successful, I have to be great as a person, man. Mm -hmm. I, because I won't be able to, I, I won't be able to create. Right. If I'm not right, right. I said, you can't. We can't force. We can't force greatness. Force greatness. 
And I think that's where a lot of artists get it twisted. You you hear these songs on the radio, you buy the CDs, you get inspired, but like, yo, like you gotta think about these cats put work in to, mm -hmm. to create these tracks. Mm -hmm. You gotta be in the right state of mind to, to be great. And that's what, I'm, that's what I'm trying to get to. Mm -hmm. I'm not even there yet. Come on. Uh, I, ain't, I ain't reached my peak because it, it, you know, in order for how my music. Like, or how far away? Either way. I feel, I feel about, uh, about 75, 80%. Okay. 80%. Uh, I got some other things I got to work out. But as far as my music, I'm, I'm a million with that. I'm a million with that. But in order for me to, to stand out in my class with the music, right. I gotta stand out of my class as a man and as a father. That's right. my main. That's my main part. That's that's how everything gonna be. You gotta be halfway with those things. You know what I'm saying? You gotta flourish, man. Gotcha. So it's all about. I always tell my kids, you know, you gotta strive to be the the one percent. Mm -hmm. You know, you got six friends, or be the one percent out of them six friends. You know, be the be the one percent out of your your classmates. Right. And be the one percent out of your grade. And be the one percent out of your school. You know, and sooner or later. Um, that you want to always be the the one percent. Chad, you realize this is not even an interview, man. They just watch us, man. Man, that's what it's supposed to be. Not even because I don't know people get on here, they they get excited. You know, they you know what I'm saying? That's you're supposed to get excited, but like today is a, I feel like this is a new day. Like, cause we talked yesterday, man. You already knew the state of mind I was in. Mm -hmm. I'm happy today, bro. Yes. I was, you know, I was I'm happy. You got snacks? Over in the corner? Hmm. So you just didn't even offer me a snack or some ice tea? Shout out to the pastor in the back. Yo, uh, can I go home now? Uh, can I leave? Oh, way higher, man. Well, you still didn't offer me a snack and you got to chip the dip over there and all. Listen, I don't know what's going on. You didn't even invite me to your, your, your party. Oh, uh, man, now listen, right? But, but, what's, what's the story? Go ahead. He just came this? over here <laughs> with a barbecue deer sub. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> My little pee for the rap snacks. You know Come on, man. man. What's the share on life, man? Come on, man. Come on, man. Let's, uh, let's talk about this video we got going on. Yeah. Here. What's up with that? Dude. The song is called Preach. Uh, mm -hmm. I was homeless. Like I said, I was homeless at one point. I wrote the song. But the, my, first, my son, my little boy sent me a voice for me. Oh, I moved back to Buffalo last year. And you know, I was able to keep my job at the airport. I was working at the airport. You know, he sent me a voicemail and was like, Daddy, I miss you. I love you, Daddy. Peace. Yeah. Like, yo, that, and I was able to write a song up there. And it broke my heart because he misses dad. Mm -hmm. I'm making this whole situation, this whole interview by my, by my son. Hey. You know what I mean? I'm making this whole cut because I wouldn't be here. I might be dead if it was for my son. I might. I might be messing around with all these different chicks, catching all type of STDs, or I might be going nuts right now. But like, my son saved my life. My man, what? He was doing, he was playing basketball with the, he was doing the finger roll. No, catching STDs. So oh, dude, catch, he was, he was catching. Was catching. Was they was throwing it. I wasn't catching. Was catching. Was catching. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, so like, you know, man, just certain things that change you, man. Certain things that humble you and just make you stronger. Oh, uh, uh, he wasn't able to make it to this video shoot because you know we going to some things on, on the home front, mm -hmm. but we got a nice little storyline coming up in uh, Will Jones shooting it, uh, Legacy Vision. We we'll shooting it tomorrow. Mm -hmm. We got different locations. We're gonna be uh, I'm going back to uh, to my old hood downtown, uh, Jefferson Clinton area, JFK. We're gonna be up in that area doing some things, going back to the airport, and we got a nice little nice little thing going. I can't wait. Shout out to Inner City. Yeah. You talking about the, the football the football team, man? I think we might have lost the train like one time. <laughs> yeah. What about the Hill Buffalo days, man? Is it okay? <laughs> For real. Yep. That was so yep. wrong, man. Now, uh, let's say it was no music, right? Music that was going on, something like that. Um, different time, different life. What would you do? What would you do? If, 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 if you could script it. Different. What would I be doing right now? Right now? Why not? Just, just Life in general. I don't know, would you, would you, I would think, you be 18, would you be 38? I think I, would, I, would, I would finish college. I dropped out uh, when I was a junior in high school. I would go back and, uh, and, and get my degree. Uh, I'd go back and I studied phys ed at Kinesis. Um, I would go back and, and give back. So I love special aid kids. I would go back and, and reach out to them. You know what I'm saying? Teach them. And, uh, what else would I be doing? I think I, I, I think I'll study being the chef in the side because that shit's sexy as hell. 
and, and, and six love do that to cook. Um, I'll be doing, I'll be doing that. And I think I'll be uh, extra promiscuous. I'll be having a lot of sex. Mm -hmm. um, let me see what else. No, I wouldn't. I'm lying. No. Yeah, I'm telling the truth. No, I'm lying. But I'm telling the truth. But I'm you lying. know what though? That, <laughs> that, 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 that might be the best thing to do in uh, you know in real life. It should be man. Uh, oh. No, I'm lying. But I lie about all of that. Mm -hmm. That's that mm -hmm. last part. Mm -hmm. But no, that's what I'm doing. Uh, um, yeah, I, I think I want to get back to the community and just, and just be a, a, a mentor. Mm -hmm. You know, cause my, my hood messed up right now. Downtown area, they all jacked up. Come on. They closed JFK. Like when I was young, man, they uh, that whole shit was open for us. Right. Like, we, we used to hoop in there all day. All day. Open. You couldn't even close nothing. Like, like for real, like we used to be like 10, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, and still had to go to school in the morning. Mm -hmm. Like, nah, I went down the way, went down the way yesterday, man. I, I took a walk down there and I was like, yo, where the, where the kids at, man? Like, where the, after school, like going straight to the, to the court. Yo, we lost it. It's just completely gone. Like the new, the new, the new basketball is like selling drugs. I mean, you on the corner, man. You out there doing your thing. Like that's what that's what everybody did on the corner now. So it, we got right. You got young parents, babies having babies. That's that's what they call it, right? And like they ain't got no ain't no uh no father figure around. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's not sometimes it's not the the woman's fault. Right. But damn. Well, give, give these kids a break, man. You you gotta, give these kids better. a break, come man. On, man. Come on. It, it, it gotta be a better way for them. Because if, if we can have it, if we can have it, okay, they can have the same the same kind of upbringing. Right. Right? But it don't make sense to me. What uh, what's the what what's the change that you would be? You know, you know they always say like, uh, you know, if, if you want to see change, you the change that you want to see. Um, what what would be the change that that you would be if they? Gave you the cake, gave you the platform to go ahead and do something different with the, the state of just you know, how, how we're living today. How we're living today? It's mm -hmm. about, about the youth, my man. I I, I'm going to go back to this again. They closed they closed down all these different community centers. They closed down all these different these different things so it's an outlet for these kids. Like, how do you, how you, <laughs> it's like you close it down because it's meant for, for these kids to fail and be out here and going crazy. Like, it's designed for them now. When I will open back up the JMK. I will bring performing arts back to the old performing arts. You know what I'm saying? I will. Uh, you know how many lessons rest there would be though if I mean, there were more around? There's so many people I would bring back. I would bring back Family Day back in the hood. Family Day. We used to work. We had we had big greens. They put all these different houses and messed up our whole um, our whole thing. They, they got all these row houses. Like you, all you right. can do is walk out. I walk outside my mom's house. Then I see these row houses. I'm like, yo, the big green was just right there. The big green was over there. Like we used to have races and all of that. Man. I would bring back all of that and bring back the people that, that oh, put man. it together. What? Come on, man. Man, it's, it's all about the kids. Man, it's, what is from the rumbly now to these kids, man? What is rumbly. that? No taps. Bro, man. Like real talk, like we, we talk about the music, man. Mm -hmm. That's just extra. That's extra, man. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for my upbringing. I could be dead. I could be. I could be anywhere else. Straight up, like, come on, man. Yeah. Fuck the music. Like that music is just extra. It's just. It just added to my resume. You know what I'm saying? What does it take? We we need more positivity. We need more people to <laughs> stay together. Uh, we we can't just make it a black on black thing. It's supposed to be everybody. You know what I'm saying? You can't make it just a, a one race thing. Like it's supposed to be everybody being like united. Like don't you know, they, and they and they fix it downtown like it's okay. Like why 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 are you fixing downtown? What about everything else? Right. Like you trying to bring all these big businesses to downtown? What about what about the hoods? Like come on, man, the west side, the east side, all that shit, man. It's not fair. Putting all this money into oh oh so we can just walk up and down oh wow this is nice how do you, how do you fix up uh, downtown Buffalo like right. oh they breaking down walking down the street looking at the the gravel and all that it just come on man what about where I come from what about where you come from man it's not fair that's it's not, that's not being united that's the white people coming in and putting money into into our area that's bullshit man straight up Chad money for mayor. 
it's bigger than music, man. This is way bigger than music. So it's that life shit I'm trying to figure out right now. Yeah. What you uh, what you reading these days? Reading anything? Hey, yo, I, I just been reading myself. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to figure out myself. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to figure out what's the next move for Dave Stewart. Not Stewie, Dave Stewart. I'm trying to figure out what's the next move for him. Figure out the next move for my son. Mm -hmm. You know, to make to make his life better. You know what I'm saying? Um I ain't really been reading much. It's been reading what's been going on around me. Come on. Keeping my job, things like that. Like I said, it's life. It's life thing, man. I'm trying to figure out. Bro. I ain't, I can't. I can't even lie to you. Come on. I can't lie to you. What's the uh? What's what, what, Where does the extreme happiness in the creation phase come from? You know, be it uh, be it, be it writing music or uh, you know, in in the studio or just you know, getting that. Yeah. You know what I mean? When you when you with when you're making music around people, where does what is that, that extreme, I guess, the, what, the appreciation of the I feel you when somebody else believes in you. Mm -hmm. When I, I got the right, I got people around me that believe in me, man. Certainly. Certainly. You know, my man Thugsman, that's my brother, man. And he done been through, he been through hell and back, man. Somebody broke into the studio. And like, and I'm still, I'm still hurt from that. Nobody don't give a shit about it, but I, I got a problem with that. You feel me? I, I'm still, and, and like, I got a problem with that. And, and like, and, and, and to be on his side, you know, like I, I know, I know how because we talk every day, man. Like people forgot about us, and they forgot how great of a producer he is. You know what I'm saying? But like, fuck the product, fuck the production. We regular people, man. He a regular dude. Mm -hmm. You know, we talk every day, and like, mm -hmm. and I feel his pain. I feel his pain and all of that. I'm like, yo, you okay, bro? I'm all right. No, you're not, cause I hear it in your voice. If you're not okay, I'm not all right. So my man don't come back, man. So like. He was down, I was down with him. We was down together, so we making a comeback together. So it's a return to uh, Dave Stewie, the return to Eastside, the return to John L, the return to uh, Thugsman, everybody that he worked with, t Run, everybody, man. Like, it's a return to everybody, but Thugs be back soon. My point is, my point is, he the closest thing to me, you know what I mean? And I think that's that's what really sparked my whole my whole thing. He believed in me. You know, he, he brought out the best of my music. I, I got a lot of good people around me, man. People come and go, but you know who your, 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 true, your true friends are, man. You, you just know. You just know. You feel it. And you just know. And, and family, too. Fam, fuck, fuck family, man. Fuck family, man. Like, real talk, because, like, like you love your family. I'm talking about everybody, but, like, everybody ain't as loyal as, as they think they are. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, just... Hey, hey y'all, people at home, hey, I'm just venting, okay? I'm talking, but it's man, real, it's realness. Man, give it I'm talking real, like, like, what is family, man? Like, yo, yo, your folks, they want to reach out to you and say, like, yo, man, what's going on in your life and all that? And then you give them the info, and they slap you in the face with that shit, like, you know what I mean? Like, everybody's so negative. Mm -hmm. I need pure positivity, man. In order for me to do that, my circle is no circle. That's right. just, a, just a fucking straight line. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It ain't really nothing, really. Fucking. Yeah. What's your favorite food? Fried chicken. It's not even a good thing. It's not fair. But no, I'm a, I'm a, uh, uh, I like uh, fettuccine alfredo. I mean, the chicken, man. That's my favorite. My favorite dish. That's my thing. With the, with the garlic bread on the side. Woo! Yeah. Who's making the bread coming from you? It's coming from my life. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What'd you put in? Grab me, shrimp, chicken. Yeah, just a chicken, just a chicken with the uh, parmesan and the, and the black pepper and all of that, garlic and all of that. Just everything out of your mix, out of your sights, man. What you need, man? What's your, what's your, what's your, what's your thing? Um, what's happening? Uh, what, what you getting into when you're like, where's my cup? Here, right here. What's up, what's up, mother? There's juice in here. No, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> I'm the wrong person to ask. I was, man. I just, I just love cooking. You know, I was, I was What else we want to talk about, man? We, we, we can talk about everything. What else do we want to talk about, man? Um, give him some links. Give him some links. I'm, on, I'm, on, I'm, on, uh, I'm on Twitter. Mm -hmm. Dave Stewie R&B. I'm on Instagram. I'm Dave Stewie. I am Dave Stewie. I'm on Facebook. Dave Stewie. I'm on YouTube. Dave Stewie. Mm -hmm. I'm everywhere. Dave Stewie. Google me. Dave Stewie. Yes. Baby. I'm, yeah. I'm Dave Stewie. I'm, not, I'm, I'm him. I'm, I think I'm him. Am I? I'm that guy? Mm -hmm. You know? I got damage up with my coat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Oh, I get off like that. Another oh. sponsorship. <laughs>
Yeah. yeah. Um, You're doing a good thing too, man, but I'm proud of you, man. What's that? You, man. I should close your laptop now. <laughs> just for you. you can't even talk. Close your laptop. Man. Oh, man. No, I appreciate that. Man. Yeah, man, you doing you doing good. You reaching out to all these other artists, man. People need uh, the voice. You need know, to get, get some things out off their chest. Man, I just wish we had uh, you know, if I could say, so, I just wish we had a hundred thousand dollars. You know, I don't want uh, I, I don't want Chad money to be the the end all or even the the main destination. You know, right. I just, just love to not have to do. 40 interviews a month. Right, but yeah. we, we don't got it now. That don't mean we, we shouldn't stop. We got to keep going, man. We gonna get it. Yeah. We gonna get it. Shit, I'm here to help everybody who want to do anything as long as that shit is positive, you know? I mean, we can't even allow the, the thought of bringing anything outside of being positive, at least around me. I, I mean, for of you personally, but not around me. And as long as we do that, then I'm sure we can, uh, we can build on anything for anybody. Oh. And uh, I mean, I'll even sit in the corner credit if that's what you want to do with me, but I'm just up for the uh, the progression of our city. You know, because you know, that's what we mean. You know, how, the, how, how the fuck can we feel good about where we come from if we don't feel good about where we come from? They, might, they, mean, talk, they, talk, so, they talk so bad about our city. You know what I'm saying? Like, we'll never be able to have somebody else say a good word if every single time somebody can put that buff on your shit. But you know, what, you know what's crazy? We can go to Detroit, Michigan, mm-hmm. right? Right. Stay there for a couple months and say the same shit we said about Buffalo. Right. And be like, man, I can't wait, wait to get out. Go home. anywhere, we're like, go to Atlanta. The reason why people go to Atlanta, it's a mind thing. Okay, it's, a, it's such a big city. Everybody goes there because it's, it's so popular. But after a while, you're like, yo, man, this fucking city whack. Like, you're going to get tired after a while. But, and what if you not get tired? You got to have a plan. You got to have a plan before you go somewhere. Like, you can't just hop into another city and be like, yo, like, I hate this city now. Like, but you need your own city, like you, you can make it, you can make it anywhere, man. You really can. Man, you better be able to make it anywhere you can breathe anywhere. Word up. Mm-hmm. I, le- I left Buffalo because I think I, I just wanted something different. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I, I felt like I wasn't, pro- it wasn't the city. I wanted, I just wanted to progress, you know, as a, as a man. And sure. to see something different, sure. you know. Man, and it worked. Right. It worked. Mm-hmm. A lot of good, a lot of good came out of me. You know, met some good people along the way, met a couple of assholes, but it's cool. But I'm still here. <laughs> I'm still here, man. I will uh, twofold before we uh before we close down. Yeah man, hurry up, man. I only got two minutes, man. Oh, man. No, I'm just playing. You good. <laughs> Bye, I hope to see you guys later. <laughs> <laughs> before we close it up, um, any just you know, anything that we uh that we missed, anything that you might want to be running on the I just I, I wanna show everybody that's doing it, man, that's hungry. You know what I'm saying? The reason like if you win it, if you win it, don't stop. Don't stop. It's too late. Don't stop it. Even if you don't stop it. <laughs> even if you just start and you and you feel like there ain't no other way, don't, don't stop. You know? But somebody you know, other people believe in you. Right. They, people really believe in you. Man. And that's why I'm still doing what I'm doing. I'm just in a different a different space right now, man. And God's been great. God's been great. Man. And uh I wanna I wanna have it no other way. Let's church say amen. 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 Shit! <laughs> Listen to this though. What's up? Um, let me get the camera in the world. Some vocals. Mm-hmm. I mean, they all, you know, on the stack, in my inbox, everything else. Dave back. Dave back. I've been waiting. When is it coming? I'm about this is a throwback right here. Give him some. Let him know you still got it. I don't care about right. this. <laughs> Many days went by, seemed like time flew by. I wrote your letters, but you didn't reply. I sent you roses, it went a thousand miles. I sent you pictures, memories of you and I. Her smile, I miss her tender kiss. My first love, the only girl I loved. Her big brown eyes gave me butterflies. I saw you, you smiled at me. I smiled at you when I saw your pretty face. You took my breath away, my heart skipped a beat. You gave me chills in every way. I looked into your eyes. You're an angel in disguise. I tried to speak. But I didn't find the words to say 
to say, to say, yeah. That boy good, that boy good. Good, good and terrible, good and terrible. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> man, oh, man, that's what it is, man. Right. Dave Stewie, and um, man, you know what? The campaign is coming, people. Awesomestation.com and all. Uh, anything else? You know, we just want to shit up. I'm a TI guy in Washington, so we probably can't do it now. Press stop. So, TI guy, <laughs> Dave Stewie, Chad Money. <laughs> We never left. <laughs> Man, the benefits of everything being live. Say something, Stu. Cheer! Say something else. Yo, one, two. Yes. Mike, check. Tell them to fucking love. I love everybody. Stay black. I mean, you know what I meant. That ain't what I meant, but you know what I mean. <laughs> you understand. You understand the words. You understand me. Whoa, I mean, well, you know. I mean, I really do. <laughs>